there, tea drinkers, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 3. So, we left you last time after we'd done the Those quest, and uh, actually, we didn't quite complete it. So, I asked you at the end uh, that we're going to have to come... Uh, well, I asked you a favour at the end. We're going to have to come back to it later, because we want to find a home for Brian Wilkes. So... What we're going to have to do is we're going to leave that quest in our journal for a while and we're going to come back to it at a later date. For now, we're going to switch back to the Wasteland Survival Guide quest. So I'm going to switch back to that now. And you'll notice that I'm actually walking around the back of Megaton. And those of you that have played the game before might know what I'm going around to find. But I'm going to get us something that will help us with the next bit of the quest. And I think, yeah, there's going to be the odd mole rat that we might have to deal with. Boosh. Poor mole rat. Um, but yes, anyway, we're going to be dealing with the next part of the Wrestling Survival Guide, which is... I... Oh, hello, vicious dog. Which is to blow a vicious dog's head off. No, the next part of the Wasteland Survival Quest is, if I remember rightly... Ah, oh. Is to go get some mines from Minefield. Now, I know a little bit about something that's going to be um, waiting for us in Minefield. So, I'm going to come prepared. Oh, crikey, Moses, you mole rats. Actually, hold on. Come on. There we go. Sword time. There we go. So, as I say, I know a little bit about something that's going to be waiting for us in Minefield. So, I thought I'd come prepared, and I thought I'd look for the secret stash at the back of Megaton. So, some of you might not know that this exists, but I'm sure some of you do at least. If you come around the back of Megaton, now if I get my local map up... Uh, I can show you roughly where I mean. So that's the front gate of Megaton. If you turn left out of Megaton and come around the back this way, it is around here that you want to be, because I can actually see it here. You're looking for a rock with three trees like that. So if you go up to it, you'll notice that it's the hollowed out rock. So open hollowed out rock. You can actually see some 308 caliber round, a, uh, a note that says as requested, which we'll read in a second. A sniper rifle, which was exactly what I was looking for. A stealth boy and two stim packs. Now, this isn't going to make the um, trip to minefield easy by any description. There are still some things that are going to be uh, bother, but we can deal with it. And uh, we can deal with it with a little bit more distance on our side. Um, so, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down the recording for a second. And then I'm going to meet you nearer to minefield. So I shall be back shortly, guys. Okay, then welcome back, ladies and gents. And now, this is a little old town named Minefield. I'm actually going to go into sneak now, uh, but it's not going to matter. Actually, I'm going to wait until I get a little bit closer to town. It's not actually going to matter horrifically much, though. Um, there are a couple of scripted events in this town. Um, where it doesn't matter if you're detected or not. So, I'm actually... Oh, let's show you what the town is about first. I don't know if you see them yet. I certainly see them. Can you see the little hot potato down here? Let's see if we can get our hands on one. That was a mine, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see if I can show you... Yeah, let's see if I can show you what happens. If you're not too careful. Oh, come on. My aim is terrible this. I don't know if you can actually blow them up. I thought you could. Oh, right there we go. There's the first scripted event. Do you see the car? Got fired at. That's going to explode any second. Oh, that was really... There we go. I thought it was going to do... Yep, so cars are very dangerous. Um, 
You know, it's re it does say that we're hidden at the moment, but I don't know if you can see him from here. I can see him. Let's see if I can bring up our sniper rifle. Do you see this gentleman up here? This is who's taking pop shops at us. And now he's not anymore. That was amazing. I actually didn't expect to hit him in one hit. That was our Kansas. Our Kansas is a gentleman that um, gave us a new level. <laughs> Our Kansas is a gentleman who basically sits in the top of that um, that building in Minefield and uh, takes pop shots at you the entire time you're there. And he also takes pop shots at the cars around the town when you're sneaking up to them. So they explode in fiery death around you, which makes it very difficult when you're dodging mines, but um, apparently we don't need to worry about that anymore. So anyway, let's do our levelling up really quickly. Um, I actually can't remember what we were aiming to level up this last time, but let's have a look. Barter, we're not going to bother with for the moment. Big guns, no, not yet. Energy weapons, not nearly yet. Explosives, no. Lockpick, maybe, but not yet. Medicine, not yet. Melee weapons, no. Repair, no. Science, no. Small guns, I think we're going to get that up to at least 50. Um, sneak, I do want to get up, because it is quite useful. Um, speech, 25, not bad. I do want to get that up to 50, though. I think speech is probably going to be yeah let's do speech before we do um, sneak but let's do speech we'll get that up to 50 next level and then we'll um, we'll go and sneak after that so let's see do we have any new we've got scoundrel which is speech and barter iron fist do we, do we do an extra five points of unarmed damage per rank no, we're not bothered with that. Educated. Uh, we're getting three more skill points every level. Maybe. Um, skill point. Uh, comprehension is to do with skill books. Uh, it's not amazingly useful. I don't tend to uh, go out and seek the skill books out too much. Um, child at heart. Interesting. Thief. Again, we don't really go for the ones. Swift learner. So let's take our rank of intense training just to be boring um, I did, can't remember if I promised you before that I was going to stop doing that but I will promise to stop doing that shortly we're just waiting for a few more interesting perks to come up so let's see what we're going to put it in we will put that in Ooh. Da, 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 da. we'll pop that in charisma shall we yeah let's be charismatic so anyway, for the moment, we're going to continue sneaking around Minefield. For the quest, I believe we have to get to the playground at the centre of town. But I'm going to want to go up there to where Arkansas actually was. Or Arkansas, sorry. Yeah, okay. This is um, where you guys get to yell at me. I, for the longest time in my life, thought Arkansas was pronounced Arkansas because apparently I'm an idiot. But then again, most Americans think that herbs is pronounced herbs, so I think I've got a free pass. <laughs> um, so if you were going to yell at me in the YouTube comments uh, saying that it's not it's not Arkansas, it's Arkansas, then yeah, that's fine. Um, you can yell at me all you like. Um, so I think we had to go into here, so let's get in here. Here we go. Travel to the playground in Minefield. We can actually return tomorrow if we want now. We even have the secondary objective, because all you had to do for the secondary objective is bring her a um, a mine back of her own. We've picked up quite a few now. But I think I'm going to make my way into this building. Um, there are still loads of mines around, so I'm paying as much attention as I can. Also, mines actually sell for quite uh, a decent amount, so it's, it's worth picking up the mines in uh, in the town. Especially early on in the game, it's actually a really good way to get some early game uh, caps if if that is something you're searching for. Um, you've got to be fast. I suggest the best way of... Uh, ah, the best way of not doing that! <laughs> um, the best way of disarming mines is to make sure you're looking out for them, so there's one there. Line up your cross hair with them, point down a little bit, and then run up to them and double tap A. 
because the first tap, well you don't need to double tap even, you need to just press A. The first tap disarms it and the second tap picks it up. Um, and we do want to pick them up because we want to sell them! So anyway, let's uh, continue on. They're really hard to see in the debris here. I'm sure there are a few more but I can't see any right now which makes me really scared. Uh, come on, I know you're here. I can see one there. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, there was one there. Ow. Ow. Right, well, I see one there and one there, so I'm going to get this one here. Let's see. Got that one. Let's get this one. Dead, dead, dead. Run, 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 run. Yep, got it. Uh. And to the stairs now. Would he booby trap his own stairs? I can't remember if there are any up here or not. I think there are. I'm always worried going up the stairs because there's, if there's one there, I can't position my cursor fast enough. So, anyway, there's obviously been somebody sleeping here, which was our nice little dead person at the top with the Sol Salisbury steak, which we're not interested in. Nuka Cola, oh, we'll take the full one. Uh, cherry Bombs, nah, I'm not that bothered about. They don't really sell for much anyway. Um, no, I don't see any here. Nope, don't see any mines here. I think we're alright now because he's actually going to be at the top up here. Or his body is rather. I'm hoping that I managed to kill him and have him. Yep, he didn't fall off, so I don't have to go finding him. So let's see what he has. I know for a fact that he has some 308 caliber rounds, which is good. He's got the Ridgefield Gate Key, which is one of the uh, houses in town, so we can go and have a look in there and see if there's anything interesting. He's got a sniper rifle, which we can use to repair our broken one, and we can sell his armor. So, we also have an ammunition box that's easily locked. Uh, that way. Yeah, we got it. And that's going to have some... 32 caliber, we need 308 for the, there we go, 308 for the um, sniper rifle, which is a bit, one of the more difficult f to find rounds in the game, so it's good that we can pick some up here, that was some 32, right, so I think um, his house is, might even be that one, but I think it's one of the ones down here, so what we'll do Tell you what, I'm going to actually come back down, find his house, and I shall meet you there. So I shall see you there in a little second, guys. Right, so I think you can actually go in a few of the houses in this town. This is the first one that I've come to. This is just at the bottom of uh, the house, you know, the broken building that we came from. So we're going to use our key and go in here. Da -da 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 -da. It's all boarded up. Let's we can break stealth now, can't we? We don't need to be doing that. Go in here, we've got an oh, unfortunately dead body, nothing in the desk. We do, however, have some 32 caliber round. That was really weird, I wasn't even pointing at it. Um, the cabinet, there it is. Ooh, there is a locked safe in here, that's good. And there, oh, come on, it's easily locked. Ah, oh, I've got 15 bobby bins, I should be alright. There we go. Uh, ooh, 16 bottle caps, some pre war money, and some whiskey. Not bothered about the whiskey. Right here, yeah, that's good. Do we have any? Nope. One tip I will give you is always check bathrooms because a lot of the time they do have med kits on the wall. Not in this one, but a lot of the time they're just on this back wall just by the door. It's a good source for things like stim packs. So, I'm not sure if there's going to. You can turn off radio. Not sure if there's going to be much else in here. Well, there's a pre war book, that's always useful. Usually, if you find a safe or something, then. That's probably going to be the most valuable thing you find in it. Oh, I did see that there. There you see. First aid box. So, relics and two stim pack. Oh, well, and a stim pack. That's good. Let's see up here. Oh, we do have a teddy... Oh, teddy bear next to a dead child. Oh, we do have pugilism and illustrated. That's a skill box. So we will keep that. Um, toy car under there. Open up the toy box. We do have another teddy bear. I'm collecting them for, for lols, really. Um, cue ball. Nothing else interesting there. And this here. Nothing else interesting in here. Aha! First aid box. Dirty water. Radix. Stim pack. Died in the bath. That's not, not a fun way to go. Um, and died in bed. 
nothing else interesting here. So, right, I shall meet you at the next house, guys. Back in a second. Okay, and here we are at house number two. This is the Gillen house, so let's have a look in here. I've been... Ooh, I hear red roaches. Let's get our knife out. Come on, roaches, where are you? Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. Yeah. So, while I've been going through the uh, the town of Minefield, I have been de-minefielding it as well. So, bit by bit, I've been trying to pick them up. Which is quite handy for XP as well, because you get 5 XP for each one, which isn't a great deal, but I've literally picked up a gajillion of them at the moment. Ooh, pre-war book. Always, if you see them, pick up your pre-war books. Ah, oh, so many red roaches. Come on, where are you? Oh, not in here. Anything in the refrigerator? Ooh, new cola. Cram will be worth something. Guess it's a drug, so I can sell it. Uh, let's have a look. No, that wasn't anything, was it? Medical brace and darts. No, we're not too bothered about those. God, red roaches make a horrific sound, don't they? So, let's go upstairs, where I presume the rest of them will be. Yeah. Wow, I'm making angry noises. And one more, I think, I presume, looking at the blips. It might be in the back. No, it'll probably be... Oh, there it is. Ha-ha! Right, so I'm going to... Break my stealth now. What else can we find? Any more pre-war books? No. Ooh, there is a safe under the bed, so here we go. I actually did know that there were quite a few safes in these houses. It's always worth checking them. Ah, Easy locks, and I'm breaking bobby pins, honestly. That should be it. There we go. And we've got some pre-war money, some bottle caps. That's actually really not worth it. That one's a terrible one. Uh, but let's see if there's anything here. Uh, oh, Metro Tech? No, 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 no. Bobby pins will take, though. They're always useful. Um, desk is empty. No med kit in here. Poor people who died. No pre war books. Grognak the Barbarian, another skill book. That's always good to have. And then I think that's it for in here. So, I shall see you. I think there's one more house, and I shall see you there. And here we are. I think it's the last house in the uh, in the village, in the uh, the little town. But notice here, we've got some blood on the floor. Dripping, dripping, and a bloody handprint. That's, that's never good, is it? So, uh, let's have a look in here. Yep, we have a raider who seems to have crawled out here. I think the implication is that he's been walking down and he's been shot at by um, my nice lovely friend the sniper at the top and he's come into here. So anyway, we've got some 308 caliber round from him and some Wasteland's Badland armor. That's good. I see another pre-war book. And then let's have a look and see what this house has to offer. Now, there's a model of a home here which is locked very hard. We don't have the lockpick skill. So, if any of you can remind me, when we have a 100 lockpick skill, we will come back and unlock that and see what's in there. Um, I don't think I've ever actually remembered to, to go in there and come back and see what's in there, so that'll be quite interesting. Uh, let's see, there's nothing in there. No stim packs. Boring house so far. Um, apart from the dead raider, of course. Um... Dandy boy apples. No, we're not that interested in that. Let's have a look in the refrigerator. No. Anything in the oven? Pilot light. That's for crafting some things. And we're not that bothered, quite frankly. Um, and let's see if there's anything interesting upstairs. So, we've got the kids' bedroom. Um, there's a pre-war book there. We're getting quite a collection of pre-war books. I think we're doing quite well. Um, we won't need them for a while, though. I do see under there, though, a lunch box. Yep, we'll take that just in case we want to construct any bottle cap mines later on. Which is good. Uh, let's see. Bathroom. Yay, we've got first aid box. Dirty water and stim packs. They'll do us for now. And finally into the bedroom with the last safe, I believe. So let's see if we can open this. 
No, not that. Oh, ah! It would seem that each save costs me a bobby pin, but never mind. We've got some. Ooh, we've got some magnum rounds, some bottle caps, pre-war money, a scoped 44 magnum. That's quite nice, and some scotch, which we will leave. Although, if it was in real life, I would totally take that scotch. I'm all about the scotch. Um, all I do prefer. Ooh, pre-war book. We're doing well. Ooh, medex, medex. Oh, I think they took some drugs and died. Oh, poor people. Pre war relaxed wear. Actually, let's have a. Oh, that's not too bad. You can actually see uh, in the bottom. I was going to point to my monitor then. You can't see me pointing to my monitor. That, that's completely pointless. Um, pun intended. You can see on the bottom left <laughs> a little representation of what the clothes look like on the Pit Boy. Uh, on Vault Boy, rather. Um, yeah, quite nice. Not a bad get up. A little bit more formal than I do in relaxed wear, but uh, never mind. And that's about it, and I think that's actually it for uh, Minefield. So, I think what I'm going to do now is, because I'm actually looking, and we're clocking up around the 20 minute mark. I think I'm going to end this episode here, ladies and gents. So what I'm going to do in between this episode and next episode is, I'm going to go throughout Minefield, I'm going to pick up a load of landmines, and then... At the start of next episode, we're going to go back to Moira and hand the quest in. So I shall see you there next time, guys. I shall see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. And bye-bye um, now.